Hey guys, what is up? Dignal here, and uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make transitions like the ones that are on screen right now. So uh, they're they're pretty much seamless transitions. They're the ones that uh, you, you, I guess you could say Penguin uses them. Uh, they've become really popular in the Ellie community lately, and I thought I'd show you how to make them. So uh, you're going to need Sapphire for this. That's pretty much the only plugin uh, you're going to need for this. So uh, yeah, you've just got your two clips right here. And you're going to want to go into your video effects tab right here and search for blur mo curves right here. So go ahead and do that. Uh, just copy these. You need to put warp X to reflect and warp Y to reflect as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, now you're going to want to go up here and keyframe Z distance. And you're going to want to go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 5 frames from the end. Make keyframe and then go to the very last one. Uh, and if you're going to want to zoom out... Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and put this to 1.4 on Z distance right there. And you're going to want to go to the second clip and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out. And you're going to go ahead and split it. And now you're going to want to go ahead and drag this. Uh, the same preset, just make sure they don't reflect. And keyframe Z distance. And on the very first keyframe, make it 0, 0,6. And. Uh, now you're gonna, just going to go to the other very last frame in the split right here and make it one. So what you've got now is just uh, just this sort of uh, animation right here. It's just, you know, a normal zoom out thing. Uh, but now we're going to want to add what makes it, you know, sort of unique. So we're going to want to go to shake right here, just a shake and then just drag the default on. Uh, now we're, there are a couple things we're going to want to do here. Uh, so we're going to want to keyframe, we're, we can set the amplitude to about... 1,8 1, 1, and keyframe it and make sure to set it to 0 at the end uh, if we can manage to find that and just set it to 0 and now we can see how that looks uh, as you can see it's still sort of a uh, sort of weird so we're gonna drag the frequency up to maybe 10 and uh, as you can see we sort of want the um, we sort of want the thing to match, so if you just go ahead and change the phase, uh, you're gonna want to see that it's sort of like, it sort of like transitions better when you have the phase on uh, zero comma or whatever it is that you, that you decide to put it on. But phase is pretty much what makes it smooth. So as you can see there, uh, it looks pretty good. So let's see if we can fix that yeah I think that looks fine we can go ahead and try 0 comma 1 here as well uh, all right that looks fine uh, now another thing you can do here is you can go up here you can search for distort RGB now distort RGB pretty much uh, you know it's, it's an RGB setting uh, it, it looks it works fine with tutorials or not with tutorials with uh, with transitions because as you can see it does distort the image but uh yeah it, it does look pretty cool if you do it right so i'll just fucking copy these settings and go to the uh the last frame right here and make it zero and uh as you can see that looks pretty good looks pretty fucking good now if you're gonna wanna if you want to zoom zoom this in instead of having it zoom out you're gonna go to the very last frame of the first video right here and go to 0 comma 6 and uh, on this one right here instead you're gonna set this to 1 comma 4 so you're just gonna change these values uh, we can go ahead and do that as you can see mm, I don't really wait did that even fucking work I did it no I don't think it did Yeah, we didn't. That, that needs to be on 1, 4. There we go. And there we can actually get the zoom in. Fucking amazing. Alright. Uh, now, if, you, if you're if going to want to go ahead and do a, a Y shake instead, that's going to be on screen right now. Uh, this is what you're going to want to do. So, you go... Uh, we can just have it zoom in for now. But what you're going to want to change is the actual shake. So uh, you're going to just go into X shake and you disable that and you're going to go to uh, Y and Z and make sure 
we're going to turn up y to 0 comma 1 and z make sure that's off and tilt shake make sure that's off as well and let's go ahead and see how that looks i think that looks pretty fucking good i don't know what you guys think but it's pretty clean and uh there are a couple more transitions you can do such as this transition right here so instead of uh, just keyframing the Z distance you can keyframe the rotate as well so you go to you go five frames back on the first clip make a keyframe and then go negative uh, 45 on the last frame and then go to this one right here keyframe it uh, or go to 45 keyframe it then go one two three four five forward and uh, set it to zero and as you can see That looks pretty good so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like you know comment subscribe uh do all the good shit and uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace